You'll have to forgive me, I've never seen this happen. Before the tip-off, a technical foul is called on Gage for something to do with the warm-up. The other team shot two free throws, made both of them, and we're about to tip it off. Here we go. Jake White tipping it off. He can tip it to Titus, we might get a bucket. No, it goes the other way. We're underway. Jake, oh, it looked like he had a steal. Score. Two points for me. He gets through the double team, passes it through, but his teammate wasn't expecting it. Falcons ball, 4 2, 7 09, first quarter. And to drive again. Just a little too much mustard on it. He had the beat. Didn't get the bucket. First three from Bethany is good. Seven two. So, Titus with the drive. Tries to dribble through three people. Might, might want to pass it off to the end there. But he was able to defend there. He got away with the reach, but must get all ball. Good pressure, good pressure. Ian with the steal. Good double team by Jake and Cougar there. Ian kicks it over to Aiden. Left hand catch. Ian tries to drive again. A little too strong. Titus is going to get his first foul. Team first. No, team second. Much. Thinking. to Bethany. Titus with the drive. Nope. Aiden with the offensive rebound. Ian looking for somebody. He kicks it out to Titus. Pass to Cougar. Cougar's down there. And we got our first foul on Bethany for reach in. 508, 9, nine to 2. Getting a lot of good looks at the basket, just not putting it in. There's another one. Ian with a nice pass from Cooper Dotson. Give him two. 9 4. Jacob White with the steal. Three with the uh, reach and. Baseball. Ian brings it up. Jake's gonna drive, kicks it out to Ian. Ian's gonna drive, and he gets the scoop and score. Six quick points for Ian here in this first quarter. He is the Falcons offense, I guess. Nine six. Aiden Huddleston with a steal. Passes it to Cougar for an easy bucket. I 
I'm so sorry we missed that on camera, but Aiden gets the assist to Cougar for two points. Good trapping defense, tries to go around his back. Unfortunate, Falcons played some good defense there, but it just uh, still went uh, Bethany's way. So 11 to eight, Let's see what we do here. Ian, the kick out to Jake, will try to tie the game. It's good for three points. Ian Garno assisting Jake, we're gonna get a timeout. 11 to 11, 347, first quarter. Falcons are on a 9-2 run after getting outscored 9-2. They're here to play. 24 seconds of the time. This does look like it's a little bit of a shorter court, which uh, then that pressure that's picked up on half court's even better. So here we go. Back in action. Good strip by Titus. I think it actually hit. Actually, it looks like they're gonna keep it there, but it looks like Titus knocked it off his, a little bit off his knee there. Three on its way, no good. Ian with the defensive rebound. Jump ball. Um, live it looked like Ian completely had control of the defensive rebound and then, uh, then it got tied up for a jump ball. So I'd give him a defensive rebound there. All right, here we go. Chance to get the lead for the Falcons. Ian with the drive. He's gonna kick it out to Jake. It looks like it's a three, it's a little short. Titus on the box out. Not there. He steps out of bounds. Gage checks in for Aiden. Titus bounce pass off Cougar. Looked like the pass was a little bit off target. Turnover Falcons, turn, turnover on Titus. 307, still deadlocked at 11 after that 9 2 run. Let's see what they do out of this. Looks like a travel. Gage with an emphatic clean block. Ian gonna drive. Good pass it to Gage. Gage looking for something or someone, he throws it to Titus. Titus with a drive. And he got the and one. And he actually came out of his shoe on the play. How about that? Basket's good. Falcons take their first league of the game here. 13-11, 240. They're gonna get one free throw. Nicely done. Instead of using his left with English, he used his right with reverse English. I don't know if the Falcons coach teach that or not, but... Free throw on its way, short. And no rebound for the Falcons. So here we go, defense. Pass with a little high. More good trapping. He dribbles through it. He's going to kick for a three. And I would say that is their best player by far. Number three, he hits the three. And playing here in years past, three is definitely their go-to guy. Ian looks to drive. He gets there, but has nowhere to go, so he tries to pass. And it's a turnover on here. Falcons do a triple team. 
and it's off of Titus. And even though it was off of Titus, it was called off of the other team. So the Falcons kind of catch a break, and it's our ball. Try the reverse, get a good screen for Cougar. Three a little off target. Jake with the offensive rebound there. Gage is going to get a okay. Could have gone either way on that one. Looked like he may have hurt himself on the play. Um, but he is the shooter, so it'll be interesting to see what they do here. He's the shooter. Refs are discussing it. I think they got it. I think Gage will be. Gage will be shooting the free throws. Yep, that makes more sense. Two shots coming for Gage. First one on its way. Oops. Okay, a little, a little, a little deep off the heel. But uh, it was straight on line. So if he gets his depth, he's got his shot. Tie this game 14 piece. Let's see what. Good. Gage subs out. Hopefully nothing too serious that he can shake off in a few moments and get back when he's called upon. So they attack from the middle, which gave them a three on two. They drove middle, dished the pass to the weak side, and even though there was absolutely zero contact from our team, they get the end one chance. Goes good. So, okay, 17 14. Ian with the drive kicks to Jake. Jake's a little off target. Cougar there for the D offensive rebound. He tries a shot and nothing. Ian deflects the pass. Good pressure here. Another good double team. Kick it to the corner for the three. It's deep. Ian knocks it out of the guy's hand. Aiden controls the offense or defensive rebound. Defensive rebound goes to Aiden Huddleston. Cougar Dotson for three. The benefit of uh, Ian Garno's pass. So assist to Ian Garno. Three points for Cougar. We're back to a tie game. They're attacking the middle. That weak side's open again. And they get another easy basket. So the rotation's late. If they get that clean pass in the middle without our trap being effective, they're going to make a living doing that. They, they like it now. We'll see how we adjust. Ian Drive kicked the eight. He missed it. And hits the three as time expires. I don't know that you give an assist to somebody when the pass kind of goes in between two players like that. So I'm going to say no assist on that one. But Cougar, one, two, three. Thank you, Cougar. 29 Falcons. 2019 Falcons. After one. Very good start. Definitely positives, lots of positives to draw from that quarter. And a few things we can learn from. The traps have been mostly effective, but they're, they gotta protect that middle. Force it to the outside. Possession arrow shows to be going to the Falcons, so we end the quarter with the three and we get the ball, so that's kind of a neat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking the wrong direction. It is not Falcons ball, it's Bethany. And I am up above 
so I could get a better view of this game for everyone's viewing. Just does cut off the baseline on one side. And Gage with a great block. Good help defense by Gage there. Understanding the kid wasn't going to pass that. Ian just drives, takes a shot, gets his offensive rebound. Pass tipped. Goes to Jake, who loses it, gets it back. A lot of contact in this game. Jake with the... Oh, must have just hit the baseline. Good pressure, Jake. Keep it up. Bethany wants the middle. They get a deflection to the middle, but that time it doesn't work. Falcons are quick enough to get back. Shot long. Aiden had it. I give him a defensive rebound, and then, the, then they stole it. There's a good look from the top of the key, and it's good. And back up two goes Bethany. A little bit back and forth action here. We might have ourselves a good game all the way through. We'll see. Jake drives, kicks out to Ian. Ian short on the shot. Rebound to the freshman. From Bethany. On its the trap. Cougars there to get a hand on it. Gets a steal. Gets pushed. And he will get fouled. So. Come on, Bruins. Stop being lazy. First Let's team, go. First team foul for the second quarter. Gage checks back in for Titus. will try a mid-range shot. Does not draw any iron. Back come the Bruins. Stop, pop, three. It is way off target. Ian Garner with a defensive rebound. Controls it. He's pushing it up on a four on two. And wisely they get it back out to the top of the, top of the key. We're forcing it a little bit there. Nobody moves on that play as he drives. And Gage got fouled by number three for their team. Falcons with a tie, chance to tie or take the lead here. Still looking for that first basket. A little over two minutes into the second quarter here. Gage tries from the post. Kind of loses it. I don't know if you call that a shot. He had Jake with a spin fade. Again, these are looking like, like a stretch here where we're forcing things. But Ian drives the basket. And I got it. I gotta watch this camera, but I'm so sorry. That is a good basket by Ian. It's looking like, honestly, a little sloppy stretch here. Cougar drives. And Gage is not playing defense. There was about a good 10, 15 seconds of Gage Nice shot, Gage was over in this area on the right side of the corner, just kneeling down for both the offensive play and that defensive play. He tried to stand up and kind of come out and could not go. So that play of the three resulted because we didn't really have our full strength right there. Gage would have been in a position to run out to that three, but he was hunched over. So, very bizarre couple of different things in this game. That technical before, they got him the two free throws. Now this three that nobody was available to play defense. Here we go. Lick your wounds, keep moving. It's only a three-point game. Jake with the drive. He's going to get clean, but he's going to get hit. Titus with the offensive rebound. 
They reset up. Cougar handoff and a pick. Titus drives. And they're going to get a reach in. Two free throws coming for Titus. Wasn't sure if that foul happened early enough that they might uh, call that uh, uh, on the floor. And uh, uh, short again. Jake on a reach there. I didn't look like he had all ball. Should have been maybe a jump ball there, but now David McNabb checks in for Aiden Huddleston. Only two points almost halfway through this uh, second quarter so far for the Falcons. Jake with the reach around, knocks it cleanly out of bounds. Falcon set a good trap again. Jake with the reach, doesn't quite get it. They're gonna try a three again. David McNabb right there. Offensive rebound. Looks like we had two guys in the play. They're going to call that on Cougar Dotson. That is the team's second foul. No free throws. Force that pass outside. Player caught it. Their best player caught it. Way too deep to get a nice easy look. Jake will drive. He's going the way. Get some contact. No call. And uh, they got some numbers. Maybe he's going to try a stop drop. Oh my goodness. Titus with a untimely three point shot foul. So, this is a tough stretch. First one short, uh, long. Second one is good. Two out of three gives them now a seven point lead. Still just two points, searching for points. First five minutes of this third, second quarter. Cougar drives, but he loses control. Turnover on Cougar. We're back on defense. Some good ball movement by Bethany, and another easy bucket. They attack that middle, and we're not careful. It's that weak side that's open every time. We gotta get our hands up and in that passing lane. Hey, Ian will drive. Good kick it to Cougar. Pass was tipped. Cougar will try to drive all the way. We're gonna call it on the floor. This is the 14th foul, so next next foul from Bethany, it'll be two shots for Faith the rest of the way out. Cougar to Jake, who just takes a nice mid-range shot, short to mid-range shot, two points. Jacob White, Titus knocks it out, Jake's able to control it. 
Titus will kick it over to Cougar who will try a three. It's short. A couple bounces that just... Cougar tries to draw a charge on number three. It's called a blocking foul. Now both teams with 14 fouled. Aiden getting ready to check back in. 2-12, second quarter. Good trap by the Falcons leads to a turnover. Jake got to control, so we'll give the steal to Jake. Ian drives, he's kicking. Good ball movement. Three no good, but they lose it. Jake, just a little short tonight. Cougar gets the offensive rebound, gets ran over. They're gonna call it off of Aiden because he stepped out of bounds and then he came back in and touched it. Minute 40. Got the pass to the middle. Get the drive, but the shot's no good. Controlled with a defensive rebound by Ian Garno. He'll pass to Jake, who will try another three. That one's downtown good. We needed that bad. Thank you, Jacob White, on the courtesy pass from Ian Garno. Try attack the middle, it's not there. The drive, Faith knocks it out of bounds. We're gonna get a substitution from Bethany. Down to a minute seven before halftime. Same exact play, this time nobody's on the outside. Miss defensive rebound, Cougar. He's gonna to try to drive it all the way. Misses the, misses the layup, and then we're going back the other way. Determined off of faith. 43.39 seconds left. Boy, that is a, a mind bend. It looks like 43 minutes and 39 seconds. There's a late three. Nope. Off the heel. Cougar Dotson with a defensive rebound. Plenty of time, 30 seconds, just under 30 seconds. Faith can do whatever they want. They could hold, it's a long time to hold for one. We'll see what we do. They look like they are trying to hold it, but. Ian will try a three, it's off Aiden. What you call it? Okay, yes. We're gonna keep it here at Faith. Both Cougar and number two for their team got their hands on it. Just under four seconds. Pass to Ian. We'll try to fade away. And two quarters in a row. A late basket. So the Falcons still end up with nine there, but they get outscored 12 to nine that second quarter and trail 31-29 and a half. We'll check back with you third quarter. Okay, third quarter set to start here. Falcons to start the, with the ball, as you can probably tell. Starters back in. Aiden 
drives, kicks it to Ian, who drives strong. Great move. Just, uh, just couldn't finish there. But a good, 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 good play. Titus slaps and gets away with it. Corner three is good. First bucket goes to Bethany, 34-29. Faith driving. Titus tries a spin layup that does not work. Step back, look for three. No. Looks like we're gonna get a travel here on the freshman. to post, makes a quick spin move, and he calls, he calls his number and he gets it. So, Jacob White with the assist there, Titus with the basket. Here's a touch pass that doesn't really go as planned, and we're gonna get an over and back here because the pass sailed. to post again. He looks like he's going to pass to Aiden. Aiden wasn't expecting it, but he still manages to get the ball and take a shot. Defensive rebounds, Titus, who charges up the, he's going all the way and layup no good. We're gonna get a substitution off of Bethany. Cougar to inbound, goes to Titus. Titus realizes he's one-on-one, -on -one, makes an up and under, gets fouled, will be taking two free throws. Not something I'm used to seeing Faith do is uh, ask Titus to play that post. This is a dismal 0 for 4. And the free throw struggles continue. He almost commits another foul. Now we got a 3 on 2 this way. We're going to get an open 3. Not there. Ian Garner with the rebound. Pushes it up to Cougar. Cougar drives, splits the double, misses the layup. Titus with the offensive rebound, kicks it out to Jake, who takes a mid-range shot, it's short. And defensive rebound, Bethany, here we go the other way. Looks like they got a four on three. Here's the drive, Ian with the test, not in time. 36-31, we're seeing similar plays on this end. Bethany is getting ahead of us on offense, getting the numbers advantage, and then kind of taking advantage of it. Ian drives, nowhere to go, passes to Cougar, who's gonna get a travel call on him as he did a hop step to get by the defense. Frustration on Cougar's face, thinks he may have been fouled, but we play on 5-13, third quarter. Middle to the, to the wing, back to the wing. Some muscle behind. Tyson's gonna get his second or third foul call down in there. He got beat deep against their best player, and all he does is reach in and I guess two free throws. Make your free throw. And Gage checks back in for Titus.
free throws play the difference. I'm telling you, if we look at the stats, we're going to see that if uh, the free throw percentages were the same, Faith would be a lot closer in this game. Gage with the drive gets fouled. He'll be shooting two. I'm trying to think how many. I only recall one miss from Bethany. Okay, don't be short. That's why you don't be short. He went long, still got the basket to drop. All right. 38 32. Pass out of bounds. Good trap on the baseline. So two quarters in a row now. Falcons are uh, they're searching on offense to get some baskets. Ooh. No good for me in on that one, huh? Here comes the trap. They try the wing again. He dribbles it back out to the middle. Another trap. Now this is a good trap. He's got nowhere to go. Now we got a three on nothing. Jake will take it. Steal by Aiden Huddleston. Assist by Aiden Huddleston. Two points for Jacob White for those who pay attention to stats. And coach didn't like what from Bethany did not like what he saw on that last play. And we'll have a quick chat to tell him not to do it again. <laughs> 38-34, looks like JJ stretching like he's going in the game, possibly. Cannon Dotson getting a little correction from the scores table. We'll go and sit back down. And the ref's having a short little conversation. Still not as good as Coach White had living. You want to go get a pizza after the game? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so after the 32nd time called by Bethany, Faith has now called a full timeout, so we have a minute and a half timeout between the two teams. <laughs> and uh, here goes my ad-libbing debut. They have to be talking to each other, I think. That's how it works. Hey, is, uh... I think they're comparing shoes here for a second. Talking about getting the stain off the top of his shoe, and he's like, I don't know, I don't know. What do you think? Okay. Back to the game. Falcons on three. Or Faith, excuse me. So JJ now checks in for Gay. No, not Gage. Uh, I know Titus is out. Cougar for Cougar. It's Cougar of breather. there. They're going to try to the weak side. He loses it out of bounds. Good pressure on Faith and the camera was not turned for you to see any of that. We got a good trap followed by another good trap followed by a bounce pass that goes through the legs and out of bounds of the open player. But good pressure didn't allow for that pass to go through clean. So good defense by the Falcons. They're going to try to post uh, Gage there. JJ had the right idea. Just overshot Gage on a pick and roll there. And 
faith there to set a double team. And uh, I don't know if anybody's picked up on the fact that number 10 is their three-point shooter. That's at least his third or fourth one of the game. Seven-point lead now for Bethany after that three. Ian going to try to drive. He's doubled. He'll pass to Gage. Gage looking for someone. Tries to back him down. Takes a shot, and it's good. Gage with a good post and finish. Okay. Let's get a stop. Good quick ball movement. Faith right there to defend it. They got a double team. Aiden's going to get called for a reach in. That's only the team second of the quarter. His second. And we're back underway. They find the middle again. They drive. And this time, oh, does not score. Gage emphatically slaps it out of bounds. Every play, they throw it right to the middle. Although this time, they go to the outside. They're looking for a corner three. Nope, they'll come back to the top. There's a trap. Jake with the reach. Got it clean. Aiden not able to track it down, but good hustle by Aiden Huddleston. Throw in, good pressure by Aiden. Try a top of key three. And their freshman hits a big three for him. That pushes the lead up to eight. Falcons had good pressure. It's just they're able to get it to their open man. Ian tries to answer on the other end. It's no good. Jake tries to save the rebound. It comes out to them. He's feeling it, but no good. And somehow. We do not control the rebound, but he throws it out to Jake, who gets some extracurricular stuff going on there after the play. It's going to be a foul on Bethany. It's their team third. And Titus checks back in for Gage. I hope Gage is all right. I'm not sure what's going on with him tonight. He got the one hit earlier, and he just seems to be struggling with some stuff. into the corner, he tries a bounce pass that hits off the defense. Easy turnover there. Turnover Titus. So there's swing passes going on. He beats the double, tries the jumper, no good. Aiden Huddleston with a defensive rebound. Let's see if the Falcons can get a bucket here. We're in bad need of a bucket. Don't want to go down 10. Titus sets the pick. He rolls. Good pass. It's no good. Good pass by Ian Garno. Titus. Don't quit. Keep playing hard. Bad moment. We're going to get a travel on number 15. Titus passed to, there we go. JJ missed the shot. Titus was in position for a rebound. They call over the back. Faith ball. Cougar gets it in to Ian. Ian's looking to drive. He's got to kick it out to Jake, who will try a corner three. It's way short. Controlled by Bethany. Ten seconds. Bethany driving. I think he's going to get a travel call on him. So just under six seconds, third quarter. They're going to try a full court pressure. 
just to kind of keep it, I think this is advantage Falcons because three, two, one, he's going to try a D3, and that time, no, no late quarter magic. So the interesting stat would be points. We had 20 points after the first quarter, nine in the second, and can only come up with seven in the third. Where they scored 19, then 12, and then uh, 13. So we got outscored 13 to seven that quarter. I'm wrong. 12. The Nats hurt me. Oh, 13 to 7. Sorry about that. 13 to 7. So we won the first, lost the next two. As I tell my kids, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Eight point game. Still not out of reach. Just got to keep your head. Keep your head. Don't start to lose your edge. Falcons start on defense. Lofts a pass, gives Spade plenty of time to get back to it. Same thing, good pressure to the middle. Steal Jacob White. Lay up Jacob White, two points. All right, good, good start. Stop and a score. Now Titus is gonna get a steal and kick it up to Cougar who gets fouled. Boy, defense sparks some easy offense. We're gonna get a timeout. Coach for Bethany does not like this early start. He's gonna try to settle it down. Which gives our guys fresh legs because they can breathe and take the timeout to relax. Say thanks for the breather. A good penetration for close shots. We're just, it's just been a, a number of them not dropping. So I think uh, keep taking the high percentage shots. They're going to go in. Your percentages are going to go better in your favor. So keep getting close range. Keep attacking the basket. To a Cougar Dotson three, missed. Titus had the ball. Knocked out of his hands almost as immediately as he got it, so I don't know if you'd say that was a rebound or not. But it is Bethany's ball. They're gonna try to spread it. Now they attack the middle. Quick passing, but really. Ooh, we gotta travel. Got a little. A little caught up as to where to go with it and lifted both feet, so. Pressure again. So Faith with the nice early opportunity. Okay, we get Aiden substituted back in for Titus. He's gonna drive, go all the way and score. And now it is a four point game, 44-40. So give the first six points to the Falcons. A much better start. And now we're gonna get a 
Good play by the senior, number three. Don't know his name, but sells like he's gonna shoot, hits the weak side. That's the first time I've seen that this half. Falcons back door from Aiden Huddleston to Jacob White. And uh, we got some things going on offense now. So an assist by Aiden Huddleston to Jacob White. And we got another turnover. Keep it up, Falcons. Here we go. Cougar going to try to drive. Not, nothing there. He's going to get held up. Team second of the fourth quarter here. Stays offensive ball for Faith. Let's go, Faith. Come on. Comes out to Ian. Ian thinks about driving. Goes all the way, forces a hard shot off the glass, but hits off target. So now, come back the other way. We're gonna get an open three, and it is deep. Ian Garno, defensive rebound. No need to rush, take what's available. Make good passes, fast cut, right? Here comes a pick. Ian kicks it out to Cougar for a nice three, and that is good. And we are looking at a one-point game. Three-pointer by Cougar Dotson, assisted, I believe, by Ian Garno. More good pressure, tip pass. Senior drives, he loses it. And Gage with a hustle steal. Timeout, Faith, smartly called by Gage. Falcons with a chance to take the lead. So after only seven points in the third quarter, with just two minutes and 22 seconds into the fourth quarter, we have nine points. So a much, much better production on offense. by Jake White. Nice pass, Jake. Jake has been doing this reach all day. And he's not, I don't think he's really been called for it. So I, 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 I don't blame him for keep doing it. Deep pass. Seniors able to regain the lead. Pick by Ian. He's gonna. Jake's gonna drive. He's. He gets bumped, and then honestly, he had nowhere to go with that, so he had to shoot. So he gets the corner. They drive, and another layup, but it's no good. Deep. It. Oh, emphatic block by Jake. Gonna be to the corner. Another tip pass by Jake. Ian controls it off the tip. Gets fouled. Almost completes it for an and one. Two shots coming up. Looks like Titus is getting ready to check back in for Gage. First one on the team. Boy, we're gonna look at that free throw stat at the end of the game and go. Oh, did it break us though? Did we did we lose the game on free throws? We've missed some charity here. 
it's tied up, Darnell. And it's also no good. So missed free throws, definitely a key stat in this game. We're gonna get a jump ball. And it's going to Falcons. Titus with the tie up there. Pick from Titus. He drives and kicks it to Cougar, who drives the lane. We're going to get a jump ball going back the other way. And you can almost think the number two got a little animated right there for a jump ball. We're deadlocked in a one point game halfway through the fourth. A lot of chatter. Key moment in the game. This weak side's open if, he, if, we, if they don't drop it. Titus tries to take a charge. Cougar bumps. It's a legit foul and one opportunity at a crucial point in the second half of the fourth quarter. And they extend the lead to three. I think Titus is coming back out. Good. So they made their free throws and we're missing ours. That's, uh, and then we're down four. Let's see if we can overcome it. Jake looking to get it into Gage. Gage catches it cleanly, does a move, shot on his way. It's good. Gage with another two pass from Jake White. Cougar goes for the steal. Bumps. It's going to be the team fourth. We're looking at two shots down the stretch for every foul. We're gonna try another deep pass. Gage, bring a collision. I think we're gonna get a foul on Gage. I don't see how we would. It's gonna be two shots for Bethany. Two possession game. Fifty-three, Still three nineteen in the game. We still got time. Let's see what we do here. Ian driving, hands it off to Aiden. Looks to Gage. We'll try another shot. That one's off the mark. Bethany controls it. Aiden with the swipe, but makes no contact. Good. Attack middle, then back to the weak side, then back to the top weak side. That's good defense. Gage swats and swats again. I think we would like to see Gage grab the ball. I'm pretty sure that was one. It was just him. Double team there, but they get so Jake's there to pressure it. Pass weak side, three on his way short, way short. Ian Garneau, defensive rebound. Just under three now. Ian gets it to Cougar, who goes all the way and gets a basket. All right. Coach tries to get the timeout, which Coach doesn't get Coach Irvin's ball. Now we get a cheap in run on the other side. Looks like Titus is going to sub back in for uh, Gage. Gage needs to get some breath.
five-point lead. That was a uh, pretty devastating back and forth just there because Coach had a timeout called. He called it very obvious, but doesn't get the call. And uh, we were caught off guard by it, it looks like. Jake looks to drive. Jake gets bumped, takes a big shot, he doesn't get it. Titus looks like he's in position, but he can't quite get the ball. So a little scramble here. Very aggressive play, a lot of contact. Still no call. Titus with the defensive rebound. We're, now we're able to get the timeout. I'm not sure if it's a full or a 30 at this point. It's a full. Not sure how much game time was left. I'm sorry to catch that. I think it might be just under two minutes left. So just got to value your possessions. Make sure that you're coming away with a bucket and getting ready to play some good defense. Get a score, get a stop, and get a score. You're right there. Cougar Dotson, courtesy of Ian Garno. And now they got a quick double team. He drives. Uh, that, that was a little too easy for that guy. Okay. But he got the ball. Cougar kind of fumbles it. Should have been a travel. Deep three out of bounds. We're going the other way. Falcons picking it up by full court, it looks like. Attack in middle. Falcons kind of, oh, we got a push off this end. I saw it, Cougar. I saw it, Cougar. Ref didn't, but I saw it. Let's see if free throws win games. Oh, that's deep. Keeps it a four point game. Next one on its way and it's off as well. Aiden with the defensive rebound. Falcons pushing. Jake gonna drive, gets home, makes his layup. Two point game. Just under a minute. Good trap, nowhere to go. The pass to no one. The pass to no one, oh, it was home. So pressure, once again, does things. And we roll it up, but it touches Jake, so it's gonna have to start the clock. But that's okay, you're down two. Just need a basket, you don't need to make it in four seconds. Aiden gonna try, maybe. Jake for a deep three, it's off. And uh, Bethany controls it. And we elect to foul. 36 seconds left in the game. Both teams in the bonus. And this time it's good. Extended to a three point game.
important rebound coming if he does miss. Well, he does make them both. Now it's a four point game. Jake's take it up the court. Timeout Falcons. Situational basketball. You do not need a three in this play. All you need is to go quickly and come up with a basket. So, sixty to fifty six. seconds left. Gets the bump. We're gonna say that it stays here off of Bethany. Jake to force threes. And that time we're gonna call it off Titus. Now we're under seven seconds left to go, four points. So close. Only a second comes off the clock. Two more coming. Should be most likely the game. to 56 your final again I'd look at that free throw stat I think that kind of stands out there were some other things as well uh, but in a close game like that uh, free throws would have helped for sure 